Neuesten. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're in Baton Rouge, just Baton Rouge, Louisiana, here outside. Boil and Rue, Boil and Rue, which is a southern kitchen, a southern restaurant. And I definitely wanted some authentic Louisiana style cooking, so here we are. So today I'm gonna get like a seafood boil, I know they have seafood boils, they're well known for that. They're well known for like some of their Mardi Gras pastas. They have their uh, catfish Acadia, um, which is like another, like a catfish dish, which I love catfish, guys. I love seafood. It's not crawfish season, but I always get a crawfish boil. But I'm sure we're gonna have some crab legs, we'll have some shrimp. You know, everything here is a scratch kitchen. I know it's coming like local seafood as much as possible. You're getting golf shrimp and uh, local catfish, and I'm super, super excited. So let's head on in, let's get some food. We'll definitely get a nice big spread. I just wanna try some Louisiana style food, and that's about it. So nice, delicious Louisiana style food. Here is scratch kitchen. Baton Rouge, so uh, let's go on in, let's have some fun. We think it's moisture too, and uh, uh, let's just have some fun. Let's eat some food. Let's go. Hi everyone, so here with all the food, it looks very, very delicious. I have the sampler here, the seafood sampler. We have everything from crab legs to shrimp. Of course, we have uh, the sausage, we have the potatoes, the corn. We have pork and turkey neck bones as well, very southern thing. Um, we have a deep fried turkey wing with candied yams. I have these lovely looking smoked wings. They smell so delicious, red beans and rice. I also have the catfish acadiana. I went with a half blackened, a half fried, both with a crawfish etouffee on top. I have oysters here as well. I have two Rockefeller, two Diablo, two of the grill. Yes, grilled oysters are a thing. A lot of the world are only raw. Here, south, we got them grilled. Um, and yeah, then uh, lovely Miss Kayla's. We also have a, which I'm gonna try, I'll give them a try. I have this delicious looking crawfish bread. Say, uh, it looks, we got like a little bit of cheese, got some crawfish, everything on there. And we also have these crawfish nachos. Um, again, looking very delicious. They even make the uh, tortilla chips here, which is really, really cool. So yeah, this all looks delicious. I'm super excited. Of course, I have traditional Louisiana style hot sauce. So basically, let's dig on in here. This looks like a lot of uh, delicious looking food. It smells fantastic, and let's have some fun. All right, so there are a few items which are not mine, but I do want to try, and luckily, I am being blessed to be able to try them before I start. First off, we have these Mardi Gras margarita, which looks fantastic. It's fruity, it's just, it's very beautiful. We have all the colors in there. I don't really drink, but it tastes like a slushy, and it's very, very delicious. So I've got to, got to start with that. I want to try this Mardi Gras pasta real quick. This looks delicious. We have like the Cajun uh, shrimp in here. We have crawfish. Mm. Oh, Woo. oh my gosh. The peppers in there, that is like... Oh my gosh. I should I, I should have got one of these. This is like I think that actually might be the, the best pasta I've ever had. You're gonna freaking love this. Okay, delicious. Let's try this crawfish bread before we officially dive into my delicious looking spread of food. This looks nice and cheesy. I think it's like a, a dip on here. Oh, you really like that too. Beautiful soft bread. Thank you for doing a taste check. Fantastic. There's my job. Now I'm gonna dive into all these items. I'm gonna start with some of these oysters. I've actually never had a grilled oyster before. So, let's start with a beautiful looking grilled oyster. I love oysters in general. Most traditionally I have them raw. But uh, we got some cheese on here, a little bit of something, something, a little bit of everything. Mm. Parmesan on there. Oh, I see you enjoying everything here, man, huh? Yeah, so, I tell you, 
I'm only getting my items. Dude, that pasta. Yeah. It's freaking amazing. Some phenomenal. Yeah, I actually like that's like that is like bomb. Hey, this is wow. down south cooking. Yeah. Museum is fun. So. Oh, I, I, I have to say, when it comes to food, you guys are like well above everything. This hey, is this is. Right. This is a job oyster. Is it jalapenos on here? Whoops. Yes, it's jalapenos, bacon, and uh, mozzarella cheese. Mm. I, make that, I make my oyster butter in-house. Um, one crazy story. Um, I really didn't eat oysters maybe five, six years ago. Really? So I had to come up with a sauce or something to make it edible for me to like it first. And then after that, I mean, I just put a little more twist to it and then presented it to the customers. Hey, they was enjoying it too. That's really good. The bacon and the jalapeno on there. Yeah. That's a really nice kick. Yeah. But like you said, and I think that's a good way to put it. You know, if you're a person that is not like a. Mm. Oh, that's finished yet? Oh, man. Oyster Rockefeller? Yes. That is delicious. Yeah, we make this finish dip in house also. If you're a person that's not like a big oyster person, I think like. This is the perfect way to get introduced to oysters. Right, that's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you can say that it's, it was an introduction to me. Yeah, myself. Back and then. you grew up in Louisiana. Right, right. There you go. So even if you're, I didn't like them at all. Even if you're from Louisiana, I guess it doesn't mean you have to like oysters. So there you go. I think that's the, the way, the official way to get it started. Let's do on that. I'm gonna throw some of these gloves on. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and show you this catfish. I love, love, love catfish. We got that lovely uh, etouffee on top. I know you guys make everything here. Yes. Scratch kitchen, everything's made in house. What do I expect? I know this is crawfish, right? Yes, it is. It's a Louisiana grown crawfish. Mm -hmm. um, I like to use all local items if possible yeah. because, you know, again, that's uh, our signature of Louisiana is fresh. So, man. Fresh crawfish tails, you know, some fresh eggs and fake. Mm -hmm. um, your ball shrimp, you know. Oh, man. Locals control. That blackened catfish with that uh, the etouffee on top, it is like so creamy. Different, uh, it's rich, it's kind of like a gravy. Right. That is just like, dude, I love catfish. And this is really good. Yeah, this is really good catfish. I love catfish. You know, that's a that's another local item. Um, that's a Louisiana homegrown uh, catfish. So those are actually corn, corn grown catfish. It tastes like, it's, it tastes like, it's so fresh. It's like, it's sweet, like a nice sweetness to the fish. Mm. Even the rice, the etouffee is just amazing. Yeah, hey, hey, when you do a scratch kitchen, man, that's, that's all your flavors come from. Well, you, you, you definitely got it down, my friend. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. Um, any, anything else you want to mention while you're here about the food? I know you're probably busy in the kitchen now. Uh, yeah, I'm back there cooking. But I look, one of the other room, focal points that we love to do down south is, of course, the barbecue. You know, we're in the neighboring states of Texas. Dude, do barbecue, state, barbecue is so. my thing. So here, um, I do the smoked wings, I do a smoked turkey wing, man, they're phenomenal. Um, so I will say, I can smell the freaking smoked wings there. Right, right, right. It's very rich in flavor. Uh, before COVID, we were doing uh, barbecue ribs. Um, mm. I had to take them off the menu, uh, downside the menu, but now because, you know, everything's coming back to normal, I'm going to put the barbecue ribs back on the menu, and that's another staple, you know, for barbecue ribs. I'm gonna try one of these right now. Just like, like I said, they smell so delicious, so smoky. Oh, he's not eating wing for real. Come on, Joe. I've done it a few times. Mm. Yeah, that's perfect, man. That's what you need. Just smoke. Nice flavor, nice smoke. Meat and smoke. I love to eat animals. Chicken wings are no, no, uh, no exception to that. That's it. Awesome, man. Wait, thank you so much. No problem. Much appreciated, and uh, we'll, uh, I'm looking forward to digging in this. I'll let you know what I did there. Okay, smoked wing, very delicious. This catfish is fantastic. Got it fried. Beautiful with the sauces on there. I threw out a bit of my favorite Louisiana style hot sauce right here. And it is very, very, very good. Just the sweetness of that fish, a little saltiness. It's a hot sauce. Woo wee! That stuff just speaks to my soul. That etouffee, absolutely fantastic. At least on the rice there, I wanna make sure I kinda of get through everything. Let's try this big turkey wing. I have never had a turkey wing before. This thing is giant, like giant, giant. Mmm. And meaty. Woo. 
I guess I should say I've never had turkey wing before. I've had turkey wing like I think you for dinner. But I've never had a fried turkey wing. And this is delicious. It's the flavors of that turkey you love. Put some hot sauce on it. It is but it's so juicy and so meaty. Look at all this. Beautiful, beautiful amount of meat on that. I am a fan. Crispy. Juicy. I tell you what, I love turkey. I haven't had turkey in a long time. I mostly have around like holidays. So this is a great way to kind of satisfy that. Mm. Very, very good. And of course, we have a southern favorite. And another southern favorite. Candied yams and or sweet potatoes, if you're not familiar. Usually butter, sugar. Mmm. Cinnamon. Oh, too good. It's like dessert. That is way too good. You could eat like way too many of these. The sweetness. That's definitely a must try as well. I think about time I officially glove up. Things are getting real. Let's dive into some of the seafood here. You guys, seafood boil is something you just can't beat. It's such a Louisiana thing. Of course, if you're in crawfish season, crawfish boil through and through. Like I said, I've actually never had neck bones. I've eaten turkey necks, but never had pork neck bones as well. That is sweet. It's actually very, ooh. Good. Mm. Okay. It's very sweet, like, like the, it's a sweet meat, it's savory, but I tell you, what is actually amazing is those friggin' boil flavors. I don't really know what to expect, but this is actually a must try. I don't even feel bad about going face first in that. I never had a clue. Neck bones, turkey necks. It tastes that good. Mm. Try one of these shrimp. And I'm getting, oh, I'm getting like, just that lovely, lovely boil flavors. It's just a nice little bit of heat. In around my mouth. Try to get the, I will say my de-shelling techniques are maybe not on par with somebody from Louisiana, but I sure like to eat their food. The food here is absolutely fantastic. Louisiana is known for it. When you're in Baton Rouge, this is definitely a really, really cool spot. Mm. Very beautiful. I mean, what's what Baton Rouge starts singing like Lady Marmalade or whatever? Lady Marmalade. I actually don't know the name of that movie, but comment down below if you do. I just know the song. I think it's Christina Aguilera. Grab another one of these neck bones. The last one that we had was turkey, this is pork. You never get a nice porky flavor to it. It's so soft, it's so tender. And that's what I love about the South. They make everything just taste good. Of course, we have some potatoes. Nice red potato. Just to get the good enough boil flavors and the corn. I love boiled corn. I'm gonna say boil, I mean corn from a boil. So sweet. The flavor is not boiled. And I had a pretty mild before. This one has a really nice spice to it. Not just heat, but just general flavor. Very, very, very beautiful. So now the crab is something I'm gonna try to. Crab is not my expertise. I do try. Let's see how well I can get on in here. But I do like a good crab leg, again, and the boil. The boil is where all those flavors are coming from. 
But that's it. Crab's a lot of work, but once you get in it, it's well worth it. Go. That was a good one. But I mean, just like, you just can't beat that. Good crab leg and a good boil. There we go. Slowly but surely. Probably punch my gloves, but. Got, a, got an actual claw here. Claws have a good portion of meat. If anybody ever wants to teach me how to eat crab legs, I'm open to learning. Come back somebody's shrimp. I can peel the shrimp a little better. A little more proficient in that. Oh yeah, just that bite. And these neck bones. Yeah, this is a turkey neck. I didn't know a turkey neck could taste so good. But I'll be honest, I didn't really know what to expect. But I am blown away, and very pleasantly. Try some of these red beans and rice, a very Louisiana thing. Got some sausage in here as well. Mm. Oh yeah. The red beans, it's not just red beans, Got a nice creamy sauce with it. That sausage just adds a beautiful level of richness and definitely just a very lovely item. My first time actually having an official Louisiana red beans and rice. I mean, I already had some of these chicken wings. I'll have another one, smoked ones. I just love that flavor. If I didn't get them sauced, you could definitely get them sauced. I just want to try them by themselves. And they definitely fit the bill. Very impressed. And when they have the barbecue ribs back, that'll be something to try out for. Oh, there we go. Woo. Crab technique is slightly improving. I'm gonna know one of these turkey necks. This is by far like the most shocking item. I love how the soap and the boil has really gone into the like the meat. And it's still just that delicious turkey flavor. It is literally soft as butter. Fall off the bone. Like I said. Shout out to South. I think they can literally make anything taste good. And these turkey necks are unbelievable. Here's a pork neck bone. This as well. It's just so good. Definitely not an item I grew up with. But man, I'm excited to get on back and try one of these again. Got some of the boiled sausage as well. Nice and rich andouille sausage. Goes really well with that seafood.
So fun fact, I didn't really grow up with seafood too much. I grew up with like some whitefish, but like when it comes to shellfish, I never had it. It wasn't until I was in my teens and adult years that I sort of branched out for myself. I actually try that. And I'm so glad I did. If you've never had like a boil, if you've never had crab or lobster, this is a good place to start. Oh yeah, these crab legs and some nice, nice meaty portion. I tell you, I love crab. It definitely takes patience. But these legs are just, these are, I'm starting to get through these a little bit better. All right, made for all the crab. I got a couple shrimp left, I wanna finish up, because they are just too good to miss, that is for sure. I've definitely eaten all the turkey necks, I think. I have a few pork neck bones left. Yeah, the flavors of that shrimp though, woo! Like I said, I haven't even used any of the butter. Everything here is just lovely, lovely cheese. Actually, this might be a turkey neck still. Let's see if it is. Mm. Oh man, so sweet. I didn't know a trigger could be so dang good. All right, pretty much through that, but damn good. Uh, let's do, uh, do have a few more of these wings. Again, I really like that they're smoked. The smoked aspect is just a game changer. Pretty much about it. I'm gonna take one more, uh, steal one more mouthful of this pasta here. Again, this Mardi Gras pasta. Mmm. Woo! Still just as good. Rich, creamy, savory. Well, that's about that, pretty much. Has some more sausage as well. Very, very delicious. I definitely enjoyed everything here today. Um, some of the f f items to know for sure. That catfish was 10 out of 10 fantastic. Both the blackened and the fried. The way they topped that with the etouffee was perfect. Threw a little bit of hot sauce in the fried one, made it even better. I just love Louisiana style hot sauce. And definitely, like I said, this whole boil just has the perfect level of heat, the perfect amount of spice. I just have a nice little tinge around my mouth. The flavors are delicious though. Uh, the shrimp were fantastic. I never, ever, ever knew that a turkey neck could taste so good. Again, I was a little, I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest, but the turkey necks and neck bones are fantastic. Definitely a must try the way they're doing them here. So come on by, definitely give them a go. Um, yeah, the oysters are really good. The smoked wings were delicious. The red beans and rice are good. The candied yams is good. I have no complaints. Oh, actually the turkey, the turkey wing. The turkey wing as well. I've just been loving turkey today. The turkey wing was actually fantastic. It's my first time having a deep fried turkey wing and definitely won't be the last. So then I'm probably gonna pick up a few more items here. We've got some more corn stuff. Good everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's video. This is very delicious. I loved it. The camera is going to die here in a couple moments, in a couple more minutes. So what I might try to do is turn this off. And if they got, they might, they might have something sweet. Maybe see if there's something sweet coming our way. I'll turn it back on. But if you're in the area, definitely come on by here, guys. Boil and Brew, we totally recommend here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So of course, the next time, stay happy, the hungry, happy eating, and at that, have a lovely day. All right, everyone. And we are a little red, a little sunburnt. Had a, quite a bit of sun today out on the water, but. We are in Biloxi, Biloxi, Mississippi. This is somewhere I have never been before. This is the bow, bottom south Gulf Coast port, whatever you wanna call it, of Mississippi. So this is definitely a big casino area. It is known for its beaches. If you look out there, they got some white 
ish sand beaches. Um, there's actually a no swimming advisory here in all Mississippi waters right now, unfortunately, due to a bacteria and or uh, algae bloom. So we anticipate it going to the beach. We will not be able to go to the beach. That being said, nonetheless, I'm gonna kind of see this area real quick before I head over to Mobile. Mobile, Mobile, uh, Alabama. We are heading east towards Florida, Orlando to be specific. So, should be good. We got quite a track, like you said, we were definitely a little burnt. It's been a bit of a long day, but a lot of fun, a lot of fun today, that's for sure. But uh, we will definitely try to show you a little more of this place before we head out during this brief stop. But uh, lots of boats. It is definitely uh, an active, we'll say port, or looks like fishing area. So, I don't know if they're shrimp boats or what they are, but boats nonetheless. So right here on the water, there's people having a campfire right over there. See the little burning yellow thing right there? You can smell the wood. But yeah, we got some people out on the kind of, I don't know, barrier there. A little sand barrier. They are all in, yeah, sandbar. They're all in canoes and stuff though, kayaks. They are not swimming again, advisory. This, the purple, is actually the uh, Hard Rock Casino of Biloxi. On the other side, this, uh, this one, this building right here, so Hard Rock, purple. This one is an MGM resort. So yeah, they got some big, big casino names down here. And then this big restaurant, which is pretty cool. It's like, I don't know, what's that, 30 feet in the air? 30, 40 feet elevated? I guess you don't gotta worry about hurricanes or at least a little less when your restaurant is 30, 40 feet up in the air. So get a little bit of an aerial view when you're on the patio.